change has come to the bars in downtown Milledgeville. Smoking is no longer allowed after 10 p.m. Bar owners and managers are adjusting. Well, so far it's going pretty well. Um, I'm, I'm impressed with not only how the restaurants have immediately complied and been happy to comply, uh, but I'm impressed at uh, the customer base, particularly the younger crowd, who is more likely to be the ones in these establishments at late night hours. Uh, actually surprisingly smooth. Um, right before it happened, we were, bartenders and managers, we were all kind of talking about it was probably going to be a pain, like telling 20 people a night that you can't smoke, but it was really, for the most part, really really easy transition to go, you know, cutting, you know, from one day not smoking to the next day, um, or, you know, one day smoking the next day not smoking. This has been very easy. And it really hasn't caused a problem so far, so as long as everybody's doing it, I'm totally fine with the law. But it's, you know, if, if anybody else were not to do it, it'd be, you'd have an unfair advantage, so. But it seems like everybody downtown is doing it, so I don't have a problem with it at all. Downtown restaurants that turn into bars at night used to allow smoking after 10 p.m. But that changed in May, forcing smokers out of the bars onto sidewalks to smoke raised concerns. Concerns about safety because trucks roll through downtown late at night. And concerns that smokers would litter the sidewalks with cigarette butts. Um, as, as soon as we leave every night, you know, 3, 3.30 every morning uh, after a bar shift, the entire concrete right in front of our building and I'm assuming right from every other uh, bar as well, there's just, I mean, it's almost, it looks like leaves, there's just cigarette butts everywhere. Walter Reynolds will join the city council after the November election. I think that perhaps the answer may be putting in additional smokers uh, stations throughout downtown. If we're going to force them outside, perhaps we should provide adequate accommodations for them to put their butts. Um, you know, the trash cans uh, have smoker stations and then there are also separate smoker stations as well. For the restaurant owners and patrons, there is another upside to the change. It doesn't smell like cigarette smoke the next day. It doesn't take all day to, to air it out just to be that way again. It seems to be cleaner in here now, so overall, yeah, I mean, I like it. Iris Cochran, GC360 reporting.